A lot of people use the Chromium browser. It's really not a bad browser in any way. It's open source, obviously compatible with the Chrome driver, and it supports casting to Chromecast devices. But like most browsers, it's not very well optimized for privacy and security with its default settings. So I'm gonna show you guys what settings to change in order to improve that. Click on the three dots here, and then click on settings to open up the settings menu. And the first thing that we want to change is down here with the search engine. We wanted to change that from the default, which would have been Google, to DuckDuckGo. And then we want to click here on advanced with the down arrow in order to expand into the advanced settings. And the first thing that you want to turn off is allow Chromium sign-in. This is enabled by default, and when it's enabled, Anytime you sign in to a Google service like Gmail, it's going to have you signed in to Chromium as well. Then you want to check the box to send a do not track request along with your um, browsing data. The reason you want to do that, it's not like a guarantee to make a site not track you because there's not a law or anything like that that you know, says a site has to follow a do not track request, but for the sites that do honor that, it's going to go ahead and uh, send that and then they'll honor that. And you want to also uncheck, allow sites to check if you have a payment method saved. And then we want to go up here into the sync in Google services. So we want to uncheck autocomplete searches and URL. We want to uncheck sh show the suggestions for similar pages and you want to go ahead and leave the one for safe browsing and these two by default you want to make sure that they're unchecked um, by default they are so you can just go ahead and leave them as they are then under the site settings you want to go to the cookies and site data now there's a few different ways that we can set this up here uh, I recommend that everybody check the block third-party cookies option, and then you can either take a more maximum security approach and just block the storage of cookies altogether, but this is going to cause a lot of sites not to work, so you might not want to block cookies you know, throughout your entire browser because obviously sites aren't gonna work. You might wanna make a separate profile to do that. So it's better to check the box to clear the cookies and site data just whenever you quit Chromium. Then under the location setting, you want to check that to block it. And this is going to obviously make any services that require your location to be on or don't work as well with your location um, off, like Google Maps, not work as well. And for camera, you want to do the same thing to block it. Microphone, same thing to block it. Motion sensors, same thing to block it. JavaScript. Now, this one, you would probably want to go ahead and allow it. And the reason why is these days there's a lot of sites that just don't work if you disable JavaScript altogether. And disabling JavaScript here is going to disable it browser-wide. So you you can try turning it off and you know see if you're able to get by going on the websites that you go on, but there's a more sophisticated way to block it, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do in a little bit. Um, I believe the rest of the things are set up correctly. Yeah, pop-up should automatically be blocked. And, oh yeah, so you want to go into your USB devices and uncheck that. No real reason I can think of that a site would need to know what USB devices you're using. And same thing for your serial ports. Sites don't need to know about your serial ports and file editing. Um, yeah, I can't really think of any website I've used where I need to edit the file through like uh, the website on my computer. I know there's sites where you can like upload a file to it, obviously like GitHub, but that's that's different. It's not the same as uh, you know ac accessing a, your files on your computer to edit it. So then outside of the site settings, then we can go into the 
add-ons. So uBlock Origin is pretty much the best ad blocker that I know of. And it's actually an ad blocker and a tracker blocker and JavaScript blocker all in one. So if you go into the dashboard, the uh, settings that I recommend you change here are to prevent WebRTC from leaking local IP addresses, especially if you're going to be using a proxy or VPN when you're using Chromium because your WebRTC, so like if you're using a VPN and you go to a website, obviously your VPN's IP is going to be displayed, but you can have a WebRTC leak that still reveals your real IP address, so it would make the uh, site or whoever you're connecting to aware of the fact that one, you're using a VPN. I mean, that can usually be detected either way because all of those IPs are public, but they would know that you're using a VPN and they would know what your actual IP address is anyway. And then you also want to block CSP reports. And then here you can make the default behavior to disable JavaScript. And then you can just start adding this or um, whitelisting websites on it that absolutely require JavaScript to work. And then you can just add that to your saved settings of the whitelist and blacklist. And you also may want to check to become an advanced user because when this is off, this is how the console looks by default. Well, this is still kind of left over a little bit, but when you enable the advanced user setting, you can then start blocking uh, different sources of JavaScript and trackers on a per tracker, per, um, per block basis, essentially. So you can really go through a website and disable all of the things that are not necessary for it to work. Like here, you know, there's YouTube sources. So maybe um, like somewhere in here is a YouTube video, but like you can block that because you don't actually see it. So it doesn't actually need to be running when you visit the site. So yeah, in terms of add-ons, uBlock Origin is pretty much all you need. Um, if you're going to be using a VPN or proxies, you could get Proxy Switchy Omega, which is just a really good add-on for managing your proxies or VPN servers so that you can switch between them relatively easily. And if you really want to throw off any type of tracking, you can also use a user agent switcher. Uh, this is the one that I recommend using, user agent switcher and manager. So basically what this allows you to do is you can spoof your user agent, which is just a string that tells a website a little bit of information about you. So it, usually it's the operating system that you're using, as well as the browser that you're using and the version of both of those pieces of software. But this lets you change that. So you can, like I'm on Linux, I can make it think that I'm on Windows 7, or I can probably make it think that I'm on a different browser too. Like, um, yeah, I can make it think that I'm on Safari and like Windows XP, right? That'd be a pretty weird combination. But you can change this between hundreds of different options and you can even set a custom user agent here. So like you can just, you know, type like uh, whatever, you know, obviously that doesn't make any sense, but you can set it to be however you want. And then that way, you can have a custom user agent. So these are pretty much the settings to change to improve the security and privacy of Chromium, at least the easy to change settings. Um, I could do a video of me going through the under the hood settings and showing you what to change there. Let me know if I should in the comment section below.